hi friends welcome back so in this video i'll be discussing uh, some of the very important questions related to block box testing so i'll be completely discussing in this video what are the various questions they can ask you in any interview when you are uh, discussing about block box testing the first thing we will try to understand what is all about a block box testing block box testing it is a testing method and normally the testers will be using this uh, method block box testing method to test the application or test the functionality of the application without knowing the internal code structure without knowing any code structure how the code has been written so we are going to test the functionality of the application that is the beauty of block box testing and normally here in block box testing we are more focusing on the inputs and uh, the output and without much worried about the internal code structure and see what is the expected results we get out of this uh, overall uh, functional testing that is where the blocks box testing is going to come into picture where we are not much worried about internal code structure or even if you do not know have a coding experience also we can perform block box testing and the next question would be what is the key differences between block box testing and a white box testing the block box testing as we discussed earlier it was uh, without knowing any internal structure we are going to test the application but in white box testing you should know the internal details and you should know the coding of that application and the logic of the application in order to test the white box testing technique that is only key differences if you want to perform white box testing as a tester i should know the coding knowledge as well but in block box testing we may not require to know the coding knowledge if you just know the functional aspects of the application still we can test that application and the next one is what are the risks associated uh, with the block box testing the risk includes the overlooking of the defects that can only found through the white box testing. Normally, there are certain defects we may miss uh, in this uh, block box because there are certain defects we can only catch if you know the, the coding experience or coding knowledge. And uh, even we may miss certain paths through the system because if you do not know the coding experience, how the coding has written, written sometimes it may not be uh, very easy to find all the issues in block box system and uh, sometime what happens if we know the code or if we know the knowledge of that how the code has been written we can develop more test cases but we may miss uh, by using block box system we may miss those scenarios as well and after doing block box testing we should also look on the white box testing technique so that uh, we can cover as many uh, test cases possible for a given application next question would be how do you handle changes in the requirement during block box testing normally the changes are handled in any form of testing is uh, you should keep updating your test cases accordingly if the requirements are got approved in the change control board or in the agile sprint board then we should accommodate those uh, test cases also you have to require to change so that uh, we can run uh, in the next cycle and uh, the testers needs to ensure the changes are reflected in the test cases to maintain the overall uh, test coverage and validity that is a key thing when there is a change in the requirement across any type of testing techniques or any kind of testing you should do we have to keep ensuring that uh, we have to keep updating the test cases accordingly and that is going to ensure we have a valid uh, test coverage what are the advantages of block box testing if you perform a block box testing what are its advantages the main advantages is we are more focusing on the user requirements and the functionality that is the key thing here if you know the requirements then we can directly go and test the block box testing and uh, tester may not have experience in the coding without understanding the source code as well they can go and test the block box testing and uh, the third one is it is very easy for us to find out the discrepancies between the requirements and the actual output we are getting in the block box testing is also a key the next one is at an IL level definitely 
Block box testing plays a very important role, especially when we are performing system testing and acceptance testing. The block box definitely brings value addition uh, at a higher level of testing.